Over half the world's population lives in cities. Urbanization leads to increased risk for people that live in cities to develop diabetes. Every month, five million people move from the countryside to a city somewhere in the world. Is there a diabetes-related problem in moving to cities? And the evidence would be yes. And city lifestyles are leading to a disease that can be devastating, even life-threatening. We want action on this. We want to move forward, and we want to move forward now. It is an emergency in slow motion. This is something we need to address. That's our obligation. The Cities Changing Diabetes program is a global program looking at the relationship between diabetes and cities. And it involves Nova Nordisk, a group in University College of London, and ourselves at Steiner Diabetes Centre. Nova Nordisk is the leading company in the provision of pharmaceuticals and treatment for diabetes. And as such, it's our obligation to try to articulate the problem wherever it is. We have joined Cities Changing Diabetes because University College London want to build sustainable communities of interest. We want to move this forward and we want it to last. We are recruiting initially five cities, Mexico City, Houston, Copenhagen, Tianjin, and Shanghai. The idea is for these five cities first to analyze the problem of diabetes associated with their particular city, then to meet and share those experiences, then craft a manifesto for cities against diabetes so that we will start acting. The first phase of the city's program is mapping and you know doing some serious analysis to find out what the situation is rather than presuming or prejudging. We need to discuss and understand why is it the people who live in cities get diabetes. Diabetes is a well-known pandemic disease and very costly. Having said that, very often still remains silent, to some extent ignored. The city's project will increase the awareness. I've seen that here in Copenhagen. I've also seen it in the other cities. I think the local authorities already realize that there is a problem. Uh, their hospitals are today being overwhelmed by servicing people with diabetes. They need to try to prevent this from occurring in the first place. We need cities that help us live healthier lives. Urban diabetes is not inevitable. We are already beginning to find out some very interesting things in Copenhagen. The migrant groups, in general, are significantly disadvantaged. In China, we have some very interesting academics who've stepped forward. Houston, they have come up with very interesting new information about geographic mapping. We have research coming from the bottom up from communities. We have advisory groups in each of these cities and people are actually listening to one another. This is an extremely new way of looking at diabetes. If we get this right, our cities will be a better place to live for all of us.